I'm back. I took a little bit of break for Easter, spent it with my niece and my great nephew Jace. We had a great time. We did a little Easter egg hunt and the Easter bunny came to our house and we just had a really relaxing weekend. It was really nice to have her. But now I am back and I decided to come to you with another crazy bun, these crazy roots. I don't know what I'm doing with my roots yet. I have about a month and a half before I get to see my hairstylist, Kelly. I'm so excited haven't made my decision as to what I'm going to do with these roots. So bear with me. You'll probably see me in a wacky, crazy bun from every video until then. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to warn you, these eyebrows are getting crazy because I'm using a new serum. They are getting very crazy. Don't get too close to your screen because you might get poked in the eye with one of them because <laughs> my eyebrows grow out like this. They do not grow like this. I'm I thought, thinking, well, maybe I need to have them laminated. I see that all the girls are doing them. Lisa just did it and I think it looks really great. So once my eyebrows settle down, I'll decide what I'm doing with them as well. Today, today's video is in collaboration with Nordstrom. I decided to order a couple of things online, some really bold lipsticks. I love me some bold lipsticks. So I thought I would work with some cream products and some powder, of course. But um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to go for a bold lip and a, more of a natural eye with maybe a bronzed looking face. We'll see. I'm flying by the seat of my pants as usual. But anyway, um, it is in collaboration with Nordstrom and we are going to get started right now, my friends. Okay. So to save time in the video, of course I did my eyebrows. Everything will be listed and linked below for you. My eyebrows are already done. <laughs> I'm also trying a new color today, a little bit cooler because of my roots. For those of you who have gone white or gray, or you are deciding whether you're going to, um, it's important that you change your coloring of your makeup. The colors that I ordinarily wear with my blonde hair, uh, because I am yellow based, are not really working. So I have to have something with a little more coolness to it. So I changed my brows up with a little bit of coolness, which makes them look, I don't know, a little more crazy, I guess. Anyway, uh, let's get started. I did start out with a primer from Lancome. Again, everything will be listed and linked below and can be purchased online or in store at Nordstrom. All right. Uh, I also, on my cheek area here, I put my Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the number three. It's a little peachier. <clears throat> I also have the four. I can wear either. I actually like the four a little bit better. And the foundation I'm wearing is Tom Ford Traceless Soft Matte Foundation. I actually almost forgot I had this until Ashley mentioned it this weekend. All right, so we um, are going to start with the eyes. I purchased the NARS Claudette eye palette. This is what it looks like. Really pretty. And these are the color again, a little too warm for the hair I am wearing, but I'm going for a very neutral look to the eye. I haven't really planned it out again, flying by the seat of our pants here, but I thought I would go ahead and give it a try. So before we get started, I also got a gift with purchase, uh, when I ordered some of the NARS things that I did and, uh, the, Eyeshadow base was one of them. So let me go ahead and put a little bit of this on my eyelids. And as usual, I would love to chit chat with you. Okay. So let's see what is new since we last spoke. Well, I got my first vaccine. I have to be very honest with you. And it's not because of the way I feel or my political opinions or anything like that. I have never liked getting vaccines. I fought my doctor for the longest time on the flu shot. I just didn't want it. I didn't feel I needed it. Then I started getting the flu shot and I've gotten it every single year since. I think I've had it five or six years in a row now. And um, I think I also got, I haven't gotten the shingles and I'm not looking forward to that one because many people they get really sick with the shingle sh uh, shop, but their doctors tell them you're going to feel like crud. Anyway, um, we uh, did get our first dose and we got the Moderna. I was really surprised that Lou went ahead and got it because he only got vaccines that he needed to get for the hospital to have hospital privileges. Just going in with the uh, center here, and I'm just going to lightly apply this all over the lid. So getting back to the shot, 
So when Lou got, decided to get it, I thought, okay, I'll get it. And uh, I had, we had the first dose and neither one of us really got sick or anything like that. We were a little fatigued the night of the shot. We both got very, very sore arms. And I got, the next day, I was a little bit nauseous. And for about two days, I had a more than mild headache, but not excruciating because I know a lot of people are getting headaches from it. I did not. And Lou only had the fatigue the night of, and he also had a very, very sore arm. And that is pretty much it. Now, we are scheduled to have our second dose just before we head back to Buffalo because we have to close the house down. Well, not close it down, we have to empty it out. And um, we did lease a small <clears throat> place, excuse me, there. And, uh, you know, I have to just decide what we're going to keep, what we're going to transfer over, and what will go into the estate sale. So the vaccine we are scheduled to get the day before we leave. And some people are getting chills, fever, uh, really bad headaches. I'm not so much worried about me because I'm actually flying there. My brother and Lou will drive the dogs down. Uh, I wouldn't do well with the drive down because, for one, I'm a terrible backseat driver. Mm -hmm, I am. And Lou and I drive very differently. There's nothing wrong with the way he drives. We just drive very differently. Um, I think I could probably do about six hours, seven hours of the ride, and then that would pretty much be it. My brother and him drive straight through, so they're there in 21 hours. They leave at like 3 o'clock in the morning, and they're there by, you know, at, late at night, depending on traffic. But they usually get there between 12 and 2, depending on traffic on the way down. Um, okay, what am I going to do now? I'm just going to lightly feather that down. So um, I would, I'm just really concerned about that, but... I don't know. We're going to try. The pharmacist told me to give a call a couple of days before our scheduled. So I'm going to try like on the 17th and see if people aren't showing up because then they have extra shots to give and, um, you know, they can't keep them. So we'll go in for our second dose then. So keep your fingers crossed. Say a little prayer for me that we can get our shots before we leave because we both have Florida driver's license, so we cannot get them in New York because we do not have a New York driver's license. So anyway, so we did get the shot, pretty uneventful, the first dose. We shall see what the second dose brings. How many of you have gotten the shot? Which one did you get? And um, how many of you are not getting it? And of those of you who got really sick, do you have uh, conditions, health conditions already? Because they are saying that people, first of all, I was listening to um, something last night and they were saying that because so many people were asymptomatic, those people that are getting the shot now, and the pharmacist actually told me this, those are the people that are actually getting a little bit sicker with the vaccine because they didn't know they had COVID and I guess they have antibodies. I'm not a scientist, nor am I a doctor, so I don't really know what I'm talking about here. But all I know is that pharmacists said the same thing as what I was watching last night. So anyway, that's where the vaccine stands. And um, right now I'm pretty much starting to pack up. I don't, it's been so long since we have been back to New York, almost a year and a half now. I don't remember what I left there as far as clothing. Um, I know I have uh, lights and things to do videos. I just have to bring all my cameras with me and um, hopefully I'll be able to stay right on track with my videos, but we shall see when we get there. I just don't remember. So I'm just so. gonna pack up a few things. I'm not gonna get all crazy. There are some things that I do need to take with me um, to continue videos for one. I'm just going to put a little bit of this gold in the center here just to tie it into a little bronzier, warm it up just slightly. And I'm just tapping it on. 
Okay, so this is what I did. I went in with this in the middle, and then I went in, let me get my eyes out of the way so it focuses for you. Then I went in with this one here because it's the coolest one for me. And then I just went into a little bit of this one right here and just tapped it lightly on my lids. Now I'm gonna go in with my pencil and I wanna really go as close to that lash line as I can. So just really get in there tightly and you can see I'm brushing right along and in between the lashes. That gives you just enough de definition. That's pretty much all I'm going to do for the lid. I probably would prefer matte, but because I'm my vision in my head is to have a bronzier, almost bronze goddess look, although my goddess days are gone. <laughs> I'm going to place my concealer right here, really close to the inner eye. And then I'll put a little bit of it out here. I do like this concealer. It's very thin. Everything is going to crease on me because I have lines. There's no way to escape that. And anybody that tells you that they have found the concealer that does not gather in your lines, it's almost impossible but we can find those that are a little bit better all right so i'm just going to take a sponge and i'm going to put my concealer out here i like to brighten this area if you watched my last tutorial you know why i'll link that tutorial where i gave a lot of i don't know anti-aging tips for makeup and i'm just going to run this down under the eye and I get pretty close to that lash line. Okay, and then right in the center, I'm just gonna take my finger and then I'm just going to let the heat of my finger melt it in. Ooh, those eyebrows are hairy. Yes, they are. <laughs> gonna do the same thing on this side. Line and always come up on an angle. That'll help clean up anything that has gone crazy <laughs> because it surely wasn't our placement. It was just the shadow going crazy. Again, I'm pulling it down and then just taking whatever's left over and filling in. I'm gonna take my finger and just touch that. Okay, so there is the concealer. So now I did buy a bronzer and this is from NARS and it is a cream bronzer. I never really cared for the Chanel cream bronzer. It was a little bit orange, but I have been using the NARS Powder Laguna for a very long time, so I thought I'm going to try it in the cream bronzer. And the color is just a really nice color. Chanel's is a little bit oranger, and I just never really cared for it on my skin tone. And then I did buy the multiple cream blush in Portofino, and this is the color, just a pretty peachy pink. So we're gonna give it a try. So now I'm gonna go in with a dense brush and I'm just going to pick some of this up and work it into the fibers of my brush. And because I don't know how it's gonna play yet, I'm just gonna go in the lid and really work it evenly into my brush because I don't want it to be, I don't want more in one area than the other. So let's go ahead and see how this is. Now remember, I'm placing it up a little bit higher than normal and I'm working on an angle with it. So let's go ahead and see how that looks. It's a nice color. And then I will take my sponge and just tap it down. So it's really effortless. And you can flare it out just slightly. What's nice about cream is you can wipe it off or you can add more. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more, more to the high point of the cheek and back. And then I'm just going to lightly, notice I'm not really going over all the color, I'm lightly tapping just to smudge it out and make it nice and even. That is really beautiful, isn't it? It's just a really nice color. So I'm gonna take what's left on that brush and I'm gonna do around my hairline. Now, if you are someone that has a lot of white, gotta be careful, you'll be walking around with white orange in that area. I'm just going to tap whatever's left on that brush 
And then we can go along the jaw and just down. And because we didn't put any more product on, it's just enough to create a hue, but you don't see that you even did it. Okay, so that is this side, nothing. And this side, va, 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 voom. And if you are someone that does not like it to stop there, just lightly swipe there. But I really don't like to put too much there because then it takes it in and it accentuates that I've already lost some volume there. Okay, so let's try the other side. What I'm going to do is just play in the lid with what's left over. And I will just do the same thing and tap. So what else can I talk to you about? Can I tell you, let's see, the girls are doing really, really well. They went to the vet and I was really happy because I was worried that they had gained some weight and the doctor said, no, they've actually lost a pound and a half each. And it's very important for Lula because she's shorter and stockier. I swear she has pit bull in her, but she doesn't, but she's got that body and she's got that muscle tone. But, um, so uh, the vet said they're doing really, really well. They had all their shots, no problems. So the bronzer, I think, looks gorgeous. And I'm just going to take whatever's left over and create that shadow and just a little bit down my neck. Really, really nice. Really pretty. I think the color is gorgeous. So this is a yes for me, the Cream Laguna Bronzer. Beautiful, beautiful color. Love it. Okay, so we're going to move on to the blush. And what I'm going to do with this, I'm actually going to just take the blush brush and swipe some of this color on. And I'm just going to work it all into the fibers. And I'll work it onto the back of my hand first just to see how it plays. It's very pretty, very pretty. All right, and then we are going to just pounce it on the high part of the cheek. Very pretty. Hmm. Has a little bit of a scent, but not much. Very, very pretty. And then take the brush and just feather it out. Remember, I'm not coming into this part. You see, I just want to lift the cheek. This is perfect to see too. You can see how much it really lifts. Okay. All right. So uh, what were we talking about? Yeah. So anyway, they did really well at the vets and uh, I was really, really happy. We started taking them to the dog park and I think it's really been good for Harley as far as exercising. Um, both of them really, because obviously they have lost weight, which is really, really it makes me happy because it's very unhealthy for our dogs to be overweight. Okay, so there is the blush. Now I'm just going to touch my eyelid with it, just slightly, whatever's left over. And this will just help to marry everything together. Look how beautiful that is. Gorgeous. Now, now if you're someone that doesn't like powder on your face, this is where you would just put your mascara on and go. I do have to use a little bit of powder, so I am going to take some of my Laura Mercier powder and I'm going to just touch underneath my eyes to make sure I have no crevices. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the powder and I'm going to set that concealer because if I don't, I have a hot mess on my face. All right, so that, see the difference too? I think it does make the under eye look better. So find a powder that really works well for you. So getting back to the dogs, we found a really nice dog park. And uh, we take them there at least, we try to do about three or four times a week. And then on the weeks that we don't take them, because they are closed on Wednesdays for poop cleanup. And uh, it's, it's really nice. They have chairs there. They have buckets that you can fill with fresh, clean water. And it's really large. So it's really nice for the dog. And Harley loves it. She runs her little heart off. And I just love it. Because, you know, we did take their yard away from them. And down here in Florida, there's no, no room for them to run unless you go to a dog park or a beach. I didn't like the beach. Too much dog poop. People didn't clean up. All right, so now what I'm going to do, because I don't want this area shining on me, I am going to just take my powder. I took very little of it in the lid, worked it into the fibers, and I'm just going to go ahead and pounce lightly. Just a little bit, not a lot. And I'll go right over the cream. Now, I, I do need to set it, but look, I'm using so little powder, you can hardly even see it in the lid. 
and then I'm working it right in and I'm just pouncing lightly to set that all. But I don't want to use too much because I don't want to take away that glow. Okay, and then you can just take any kind of setting spray and all that will do is take that powder look away. So, so I think that looks really, really pretty. Now I'm all going right, so to move on to my lips. I'm going to, we're going bold, baby, we're going bold. I'm just going to lightly line my lips. Okay, so I have lined my lips and a couple of weeks ago, maybe even about a month ago, I had purchased this one. It's called Cherie. It's 525 by Christian Dior. It is gorgeous, my friends, but this is not the one we're going to wear today, but I will swipe it so you can see. It is definitely, it's along the lines of a peachy pink coral, really, really beautiful. It would look gorgeous with this look, but we're going. I haven't tried the one on yet that I'm gonna share with you, so it could be a big, bad mistake, but it's red. I love to wear red lipstick, and this one is number, Nine, let's see what we have here. This one is 762 Dia, oh, okay, Dior Amour. Like I love Dior or something like that. But anyway, the number is 762. Oh, she's so pretty. She's so pretty. Look at her. Oh my gosh. Let me, let me just put her on my hand for you. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's like a pinky red, which is perfect for my roots right now. So let's so go ahead and put her on. Oh. oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous. Mm -mm -mm. Look at her. Oh, she is beautiful. I love her. And these are really comfortable lipsticks. Nothing drying about them. All right, let's put our mascara on. Oh, I love her. I love her, love her, love her. And again, that's the two of them. You see how one is much pinker red, and then this one here is your peachy coral, but again, the same finish, metallic, beautiful. Let me wipe this off. Okay, my eyelash is curled. I got also a sample of the Climax NARS mascara, so we're gonna go ahead and use that. I have the full tube of both, but I wanted to use the sample today, why not? So let's go ahead and put that on. Now, I love this mascara. It does give you a little bit more clump versus, you know, spidery lashes. And that's what I prefer in my lashes. I don't particularly care for daddy long legs, I call it. I don't like that look for myself. So I'm just going in and cleaning up now. All right, my friends, so that is pretty much today's look. The cream bronzer from NARS. I absolutely love it. Again, this is the Laguna. Everything will be listed and linked below for you, and everything can be purchased from Nordstrom. And I love this lip. Oh, I do. And the cream blush. I thought it might, I thought perhaps it was going to have a little bit too much satin finish, but it does not. Let me show you that on my finger. It's just a really pretty, let me go ahead and swipe it here. Here it is. It really doesn't have a whole lot of satin. I thought it was going to, but it doesn't. It makes the perfect cream blush. All right, my friends, so that is it for today's look. I think it's very simple with a pretty bold lip. When you have white hair, this is another thing that I think we have to realize. When you have white showing, it is cooler for the most part. We have to brighten up the lip. Nude lipstick isn't my best friend right now. I have to go for really bright to bring out all the other features of my face and to complement the white hairs, all right? So, and my top is also from Nordstrom. It's really cute. It is, it comes about right to here. I would never wear these tights out in public because they show too much here and here, but for recording, they're perfectly fine. It is really a pretty top. It has the puffy sleeves. 
square neckline and it just really is soft and flows it's very feminine i really do like the colors in it black and tan really pretty it also has a lining under it which i really loved so i just really like it i thought it was very pretty very comfortable very lightweight for those of us who are menopausal and you can't wear anything that's really heavy this is really pretty and i do like that it has a lining it's not see-through at all and it is soft feminine with a beautiful flow to it all right friends again thank you to nordstrom for collaborating with me i'm going to let you go but on your way out if you haven't already subscribed you know i would love to have you as an ageless beauty so go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell until the next time my friends go out in the world and be lovable with a nice bad bold lip and a crazy bun <laughs> love you guys bisous